Good morning. It is 7:30 a.m. and my weekday as a full-time intern is just getting started. As per the weather forecast, light flurries are expected today. The first thing I do in the morning is obviously brush and freshen up. There is no better start to my morning than making chai. I like mine with ginger, cloves, cinnamon and cardamom. This aromatic blend awakens my senses. It's my cherished morning ritual. Once the chai is ready, I like having it with a couple of 50/50 biscuits which should be familiar to you if you are an Indian. Right after I have a glass of warm water along with vitamin D3 supplements because I'm living in Canada and it's winter right now. My work begins at 9 a.m. and depending on the day it could involve a lot of coding, brainstorming, uh, remotely collaborating or architecting software all from the comfort of my home. Well, today I'm working on the first draft of my internship report where I highlight everything I've done so far during my 8 month long internship. I need to submit this report in order to graduate from the MSc in Applied Computing program that I'm currently pursuing at the University of Toronto. At around 11:45, I pause for lunch, my first meal of the day, where I put together a nutritious salad with a mix of salad greens, lettuce, and broccoli, along with fried eggs and chicken for protein. I dress the salad with my homemade salad dressing. This ketogenic and fibrous meal keeps me full until dinner. To relax, I usually watch a TV show or anime while I'm having lunch. Post lunch, I go back to work. This time, I use the standing feature in my desk to work while I'm standing. This prevents lower back pain that is often caused by being seated for long periods of time. At about 2 p.m., my energy level drops, and a brief 30-minute nap is my secret to regaining alertness and focus. Refreshed from the nap, I return to work, re-energized and productive. The work continues until 5 p.m. Then it's time for a change of pace. I slip into my workout gear and head to the gym. Are you traveling to Canada anytime soon? Getting a Canadian SIM card should be one of your top priorities upon arrival. However, finding a good phone plan can be quite challenging, especially when you're new to the country and in need of a SIM card right away. However, if you are in India and watching this video, I have a great news for you. There's an incredible service called Canadian SIM which delivers a Canadian SIM card directly to your doorsteps no matter where you are in India and the best part is it is completely free. With Canadian SIM you'll have a SIM card with you before you even set foot in Canada and that's not all until January 8th 2024 Canadian SIM is running a Boxing Day special offer with Fido providing 50 GB of 4G or LTE data for just $35 a month which is a remarkable deal. Additionally, there are no activation fees for this SIM, so you only need to pay your monthly bill. Rest assured, the SIM card you receive will seamlessly work with your existing cell phone, eliminating the need to upgrade your device or to commit to an expensive phone plan. Upon landing in Canada, your SIM card gets activated instantly, so you can call anyone right away with unlimited Canada-wide calling. Canadian SIM is powered by Rogers and Fido, the leading network providers in Canada. I personally use their SIM and let me tell you it's been flawless. I've had no complaints whatsoever. So why settle for less? 
Use the link in the description below to get your Canadian SIM delivered conveniently to your doorsteps today. Since I've started living in Kitchener, Ontario, I've taken a guest pass for the University of Waterloo Physical Activity Complex or PAC. I take the tram to get there which takes about 20 to 25 minutes. Once I'm at the pack, it's time for a workout session. A good workout is essential for both physical and mental health. Today I'm doing pull based workouts. I start with 4 sets of 10 pull ups. Next, I do 4 sets of 10 seated rows, followed by 3 sets of 10 bicep curls. Next, I do 4 sets of 12 lateral raises. And finally, 3 sets of 10 lower back extensions. Quick pause everyone, are you dreaming of studying abroad but overwhelmed by the whole process? Edioverse, my India-based team is here to help you. Our seasoned consultants provide personalized support for most study abroad destinations including Canada. And guess what? Most of our services are either free or at a minimal cost. So don't miss out. Fill out the Google form in the description below to get started. And remember, your study abroad dream is closer than you think. After a refreshing workout, I leave the gym and take the tram back home. The lights in my unit automatically turn on after the sunset thanks to home automation. Once I'm home, I take a quick warm shower and now it's time to prepare dinner. Here I'm making dosas which are crepes made from fermented rice and lentils. I actually ran out of dosa batter along the way so I'm just gonna reheat a frozen paratha. I had already cooked chicken tikka masala a couple of days back so I'll just reheat it along with the dosas I freshly prepared. My dinner is usually accompanied by an episode of anime, which is a perfect way to unwind. After dinner, I dedicate some time to personal pursuits like catching up on YouTube or watching some educational videos. This wind down time sets the stage for a restful night. By 11.30, I call it a day, ready to do it all over again tomorrow. <laughs>